Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and check this business out. It is time for the 2018 holiday gift. It is actually up and on my website, and there's a video up explaining everything as well. I hope you take advantage before the spots to the holiday gifts are gone. Now, with the holiday gift, you get to book appointments in October, November, December, and January. So we can talk about the end of your year, we can talk about the beginning of your year, and anything in between. So make sure you check it out because the appointments are going in increments of $25, $50, and $100 just for the holiday sale, all right? All right, stick around. I've got a beautiful moon video coming up for you. Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and today we are going to talk about the full moon we've got coming up on Monday, September 24th, just depending on where you are in the world, right? Exactly the timing, but it will be at two degrees of Aries. Now, I think that this is just such a beautiful full moon because when there's a full moon in the energy of Aries, it ignites some fire and some passion into our environments. And while, yes, that can be a little bit chaotic, and then we have people who are also running on high passion and impulsivity, which can create a little bit of a train wreck. What we also have the opportunity to do is look back like six months ago when we had the new moon happening in Aries, what were you working on? What seeds were you planting? And most importantly for me, I think, where were you at in your own personal identity? right? Your identity has been shifting so much that I feel like this full moon is really saying, all right, you have arrived at a piece of who we're going to become and now you have got to start to own it. Because that's the thing, Aries, when they do things, think about this, they own it, right? Even if an Aries is wrong, that Aries energy goes after it like they are here to win. So they own it. And this is because if they didn't own it, they would think less of themselves, right? So where are you at in your identity, in your projects, and how you're showing up out in the world? Are you owning it? Have you taken back your life and your power? I think that this full moon really um, drills and digs into that a little bit. Not to mention that this full moon also has a pretty heavy Saturn feel to it that I talked about in the September monthly videos. So with that energy, Saturn can be limiting and restricting and heavy, but Saturn can also be maturing and grounding. So I think this is an absolutely beautiful energy happening with the, with the Saturn energy being here. Now, as we can see on the chart as well, we've got the moon, also in a conjunction here to Chiron. Now Chiron is still in retrograde, so we could still here be looking back over things of childhood, childhood memories, really deep fears that maybe we've had. And fears are not just always related, you guys, to being afraid of something bad. People out there genuinely have the fear that is the, um, Fear of success, right? Fear of being bigger than they could have ever imagined that they were. Fear of moving from one story that they've been telling their whole lives to something else. That fear is very, very real. But whatever the fear looks like for you, it could definitely be digging into it at this particular full moon. Now, I do want to say, in the monthly horoscope, if you listen to it, I talk about the energy of Mars and Uranus and how they're showing up together and that when they square this month, when that kicks off, really when we hear the height of it actually on the 18th, that can be an energy that can be a bit explosive. It's a warring energy. It can be an energy that brings disruptive change. But where I think it's actually beautiful at this particular um, full moon is very positive because Mars and Uranus, instead of being like terrible or scary, they give you this impulse. They give you this shock, this move to have the energy, to have the intuition to take on the challenges that come up in front of you, to face your fears, whether it be a fear of intimacy, success, um, education, money, whatever it is. This energy with Mars and Uranus helps you take action to move forward through that. And it may even be very impulsive, aggressive action, but you take action nonetheless, okay? So let's talk about the actual astrology of what we're looking at here piece by piece. First and foremost, if you've never been to my channel, welcome. And if you don't know what a full moon is and what the full moon means, when we're seeing a full moon happen in astrology, what 
what we're looking at is the sun and the moon. This is the moon here. This is the sun here, and they are in opposition to each other. So what this highlights within us are the opposing things, our needs versus our wants, um, my work versus my family, my partnerships versus my independence. It doesn't matter what it is. Because it's a lunar energy, it really sinks to our emotions and our instincts and our securities, okay? Now, a full moon, just like every other moon, is a piece of a cycle. So this full moon has a strong relationship to the last new moon that we had last month, okay? So, excuse me, at the earlier of this month. So, the September 9th new moon. What goals, what seeds of intention did you plant then? What were you working on? Because at the full moon, we're going to bring it to culmination. We're going to... Um, we're going to go out and pick our vegetables, you know, right? We planted our garden. Now we got to go pick our vegetables. So what you also get the opportunity to do at a full moon, because the full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjustment. So if you've been making plans, things like that, you get to make the adjustments now or say that's not the right plan and end it or acknowledge something that can work or be put in place to be more effective and better, okay? So you're going to be feeling the energy of this particular full moon for about two weeks, really. Let's get to the next October 8th new moon and see what you're coming up with. So one of the greatest things I think you can do if you're serious about tracking how astrology is showing up in your world, do a moon journal. So from the new moon, what seeds are you planting? And then follow that through to the full moon and watch your patterns and see how things are manifesting for you. It's absolutely brilliant when you get to see it play out, okay? Now, let's talk about these other pieces that um, we are seeing here. So right here, we've got the sun and the moon, like I said, in an opposition here. But what they are both doing here is connecting here with Saturn, okay? So what happens with both the sun and the moon, because they are both in a square to Saturn, this creates this green triangle that we see right here. This is the T-square pattern. Okay, now the full moon is also in a conjunction with Chiron here, right? It's opposite Mercury energy that we've got over here, but it's all set to the tune of a very Saturn-based energy. Of all of these energies, Saturn, I think, is going to work the hardest to kind of ground us down, right? To bring some maturity and stability to the table. So this can, in a sense create a moon that feels a little bit heavy, but if it does feel heavy, just like any other set of squares, I think what happens here is you get put into a position where you have to take a new action, and maybe it's a very Aries impulsive action, in order to have a new experience, in order to get something done, right? And again, that Chiron energy is for sure bringing up some things from the past. It's bringing up some things that you have got to overcome in order to move forward. And I really think that's important to continue to stress because from that Chiron energy, if you don't start to see that whatever it is in the past, whatever it is that's the fear, that it's actually a delicious piece of your identity that you can use to build and create something on forward, um, I think you miss the positive influence of it, right? But again, remember, you do have that, that Mars and Uranus influence in there as well, okay? Now, as we look at the Mercury energy, I do want to talk about Mercury being opposite the moon. This has a lot to do with your emotions meet your thinking. And what this can do with that Aries energy is make you a bit mouthy, okay? So you do want to pay attention to that for sure. I would tell you if you have to take an impulsive decision, you need to make one, you have to say something, you know, be mindful of what it is that you're saying. Be sure that what you're saying has purpose. Just don't be out there letting your lips roll because I promise you, everyone is experiencing this energy. No one is free from it. So you could catch somebody who's a bit more passionate than you and you guys end up butting heads, okay? Now, when we're looking at the Chiron moon energy, that is a lot about healing. Like I said, it brings up the things from the past. It brings up things from um, childhood. And definitely, I think um, for some people, it will be looking at trauma for sure, okay? So just kind of keep these things in mind as you're processing through what is exactly happening for you during this moon. Now, what do you do if this particular full moon is heavy for you? right? It feels like stormy, none of that is happening. I don't feel passionate. I just feel stuck. It's not good, right? 
what this, what's, what's a, a great option for you to do is to lean into these energies. First of all, you have also got the sun here in a really, really beautiful quincunx to Uranus. And usually this makes you feel stuck. It makes you feel tense. It makes you feel um, like you just can't move, right? Even though something or someone is trying to push you in a direction to change, you feel like you can't. I will tell you, stay flexible. Be flexible. Make life so much easier for you and those around you by not completely attaching to a plan or an idea. You have to be flexible with this energy. As well, lean into the trine that's also happening right here between Saturn and Uranus. This is wonderful. This is phenomenal energy, you guys, right here to make beautiful, beautiful changes. And again, these changes are going to be ones, because remember, Saturn wants to build, um, build structures, and Uranus says, I'm all for building structures, but this structure we have around this, this idea, this belief that we have, this person who's actually in our life is not working out. We need to tear it down. So in a trine, they're actually working together. So you could be getting rid of an unhealthy relationship. You could be getting rid of an addiction. You could be overcoming fear. Whatever it is, Uranus is moving in an intuitive, unique, erratic, electric energy all set to the soundtrack of Aries energy. This is an impulsive, passionate, let's go on ahead and change energy. Really a beautiful moon. As you guys can tell, I'm getting a little bit pumped about it <laughs> because I just believe we've been doing so much changing. It's been a very quiet way this year. Not everything has been huge changes on the outside, but as we move more and more into this, and we as humans have to do it piece by piece by piece. We can't always just take these huge leaps. We're not built for that. As we've changed though, piece by piece by piece, we've got this gorgeous set of energies here that are working in our favor to help us, to help us move forward. So with this full moon in Aries, I hope that what you find out is the pieces of your ego, your identity, and your fears that you no longer need. And I hope you become willing to shed them so that you can have a brand new experience. The full moon says, let's close this chapter so that we can move on to the next. All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you are taking advantage of the 2018 holiday gift because it is out now. Check out the video or come visit me at stormygrace.com, all right? I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.